There are various factors that control the lifetime of the spacecraft and, and sometimes it's pure commercial. I mean, we're, don't forget we're launching a technology here and we're launching a technology that we can't get our hands on again. So having launched it, will it still be useful technology in 20 years hence? And in the case of the spacecraft that we operate, usually they, that is kind of where we're talking about. And it's relating to fuel, it's relating to the battery capabilities because they, uh, we, we, they're heavily worked through the life of the spacecraft. Uh, and as, as, as you'll know, if you've ever owned a, a laptop or a, or a smartphone, lithium-ion batteries, which is what we're launching with, obviously very high specification lithium-ion batteries, but they do have a limited lifespan. Uh, so these are factors that can come into play. Usually it's the fuel that is the limiting factor. Um, as one of our obligations uh, at international treaty level is to make sure that the spacecraft doesn't become future debris for some other important mission. So we have to reserve a quantity of fuel at the end of life of the spacecraft to push it further away from the Earth. We call this graveyarding or deorbiting. And so we carefully account for the fuel usage for every manoeuvre that we do, for every little adjustment of the orbit. Um, but over lifetime, you know, you're, you're chipping away at a finite resource.